Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, and welcome back to my expansion pack refresh idea series. And we are already at the end? Well, at least for now anyways. <laughs> Until they release more expansion packs, which at the rate they're going right now is probably going to feel like years away. But before I get into my ideas for a cottage living refresh, I do want to address a frequently asked question because several of you have asked, am I going to do a game pack refresh ideas series? And the thing is, well, I kind of did already, except I put all of those ideas for game pack refreshes into one video. And I don't know, it's kind of weird. Maybe it just didn't go to a lot of your subscription feeds or notifications because the video is not that old either because I did that video first and then I realized, oh, for expansion packs, I should do them separately instead of trying to cram them all into one video. However, I am considering doing refresh idea videos for a few stuff packs. I don't want to get too invested in the idea of refreshing stuff packs because it doesn't seem like they're going to do those because there's been no indication that they're going to refresh them. And even on that one survey that hinted at pack refreshes in the first place, they only asked about expansion packs and game packs. But there are still a few that I'd like to see updated, particularly the older ones, so that they are more in line quality wise with the latest ones that we've received. But I don't plan on doing those on a weekly basis like I've been doing for the expansion pack refreshes because I need a little bit of a break from doing these for just a little bit before I keep doing more of them. But thank you so much for all your support on these videos. I'm glad that these have done pretty decently. But now let's get into cottage living. So at the time of recording this video, this is my second favorite expansion pack right now. I am enjoying it quite a lot and I still haven't explored everything. But I think there are still things that could have been improved here. And there's two big things in particular that have been talking points where like, okay, thematically these two could have fit in. One I think could more realistically fit into a refresh than the other. So I'll talk about these two things before I get into all my other ideas. Ironically, I think the one of the two that has a better chance of fitting into the scale of a refresh is fairies, which is uh, an occult and unrealistic thing. So uh, with Cottage Living, I feel like with Henford on Bagley, there are some kind of like fairy vibes going on. Like I feel like they just, they'd fit pretty well. And honestly, I feel fairies would most likely reuse a lot of stuff from spellcasters. So I think they'd be a lot easier to fit into the scale of a refresh than say werewolves. The other major feature I know a lot of people wanted in Cottage Living was horses. I think they would have fit extremely well with Henford on Bagley. Especially in Old New Henford, there's all of that open space that would work just really well for horses and maybe they could have even fit in a horse ranch. But no, they did not make the cut for this expansion pack unfortunately. Well, I don't know if they even considered them in the first place. At this point though, if horses were to be done even halfway decently, I think they will have to have their own game pack or be part of a different expansion pack. Well, if they did put horses in a cottage living refresh, I think that'd be the whole refresh. There'd be nothing else to it and not really expand upon anything at all that was originally in cottage living. So I don't think that would be ideal either. I'm also considering unicorns as part of this because I would be bummed if we did get horses back, but not the supernatural side of them with unicorns, because they, they were pretty cool in The Sims 3 Pets. So if they did bring back horses and had like the Equestrian Center be an actual playable venue instead of only a rabbit hole and brought unicorns back with more depth and a skill tree, then maybe that actually could fill a game pack pretty decently. Now with the horses and fairies discussion out of the way, let's get to the other ideas that I have. The festivals I think are the most boring part of cottage living because even though there are some cool rewards you can get from them, there's just not much to really do there. Most of the time when I visit, a lot of sims are just dancing to the music that's playing from one of the loudspeakers and there really isn't much to do other than to just enter for whatever podcast is going on 
and just stand around and talk to other Sims. What I was hoping for was something like the fall fairs that I've experienced in real life, where it's not just contests, but you can also go on rides, play carnival games, grab snacks from the various food stands, even they have things like hay mazes, but there's really none of that going on here. I'm not expecting anything like a full-on amusement park, but I think it would be nice if there were at least a couple more activities to do, like say apple bobbing, or bringing back the love tester from The Sims 3, or even having like the, <laughs> the whack-a-mole game, because I remember the one from The Sims 1 where you're actually whacking Will Wright's head instead of the moles, and that was kind of funny. Be interesting to see that return. The festivals weren't my favorite part of city living, but even those festivals, I think, had more to do there. With the animals, I am disappointed that the cow and llama sheds are just rabbit holes, because, yeah, sure, the cow coral in the Sims 3 store was also a rabbit hole, but I wish they had advanced that in the Sims 4 so you could actually see inside of them and it'd just be more realistic that way, in my opinion. I also wish there was a way for the cows and the llamas to have babies, since the chickens can. Maybe they would have to find a way to liberate the llamas and the cows from being stuck in the sheds whenever they need to go to sleep, because otherwise, I don't think this would work, because you could only fit, like, realistically so many of these larger animals into those sheds without it just being completely unbelievable. I also wish they could improve the textures on the llamas in particular because I don't think they look really that great close up. There's also a few improvements with the animals that I'd like to see that actually throws in some cross-pack integration. The first idea I have is if you own get to work, cows can get a low chance of being abducted by aliens. So there actually is a mod that Lot51 is working on where it seems to be just part of a bigger mod, but yeah, I think that looks really interesting so far. And I was trying to think of like what sort of benefit could come out of it. And I came up with space milk that aliens would basically infuse the cow with. And when your sims harvest this milk and drink it, they will get an inspired buff. And also unlock the ability to paint a painting of Sexum. I know that sounds extremely random, but I don't use the painting skill that much, so I thought maybe this could be an interesting way to incentivize players like me to use it more often, and I think it still fits with just the bizarre off-the-wall stuff that can happen in The Sims sometimes. Realm of Magic could also use some integration with it. For example, being able to scrub through the animals and the shed and the chicken coop. I already used that quite a bit with a mod from Little Miss Sam. There is also a very similar mod by Little Miss Sam that allows you to use Upgradios on the chicken coop and the animal sheds. And as a bonus, I think it could be interesting if there was a really rare spell that you could only do at a higher ranking of magic where you could actually turn your animal into a much rarer version of itself. One last thing is with cats and dogs. I've not tried this for myself yet, but apparently dogs are able to scare away foxes. But cats can't? <laughs> so I think cats should still be able to hiss at the foxes and possibly be able to scare them away that way. Tying into Island Living, I'd also love to see canoes and kayaks. They could fit with an Island Living refresh, but I think they also fit the vibes of Henford on Bagley. Just whenever I look at the river, I think, oh, it is great that we can swim in there and also use the existing boats from Island Living but I'd love to have some boats that I feel would fit better because the canoe that we have in Island Living is definitely made with the atmosphere of Sulani in mind and I don't think they really fit as well everywhere else. Plus, I would love to have canoes and kayaks that I'm more familiar with and also it would be a good chance to incorporate boats that can carry more than one sim. And how cute would it be to be able to recreate this scene in this video footage right here? <laughs> Or even propose? I don't know, I just thought of that right now. I think that would be pretty fun. One miscellaneous object I'd love to see improved in cottage living is the picnic basket, because for some reason, you can only set it on a table. You can't have it on the ground with a picnic blanket, 
like you could in The Sims 3, and I just find that so strange. <laughs> and, well, I even keep forgetting that the Picnic Basket even exists in this expansion, so maybe I would remember it better if it was more useful. There is one kind of new object I'd love to see added to build mode, and that is barn doors. No, not the ones that actually go on the outside of barns. I'm talking about the barn doors that actually go inside. <laughs> A good example of this is this Barn Doors kit by 6MCC. I highly recommend it. Some really nice interior barn doors. And I do agree with 6M. Barn doors would have made a lot of sense for cottage living. Not the ones that go outside because those, at least I tend to associate those with North American farms where this is clearly inspired by the UK. But maybe they could still fit in interior barn doors. As for the free update that would go alongside this refresh, I was thinking, what if we had ladders that were on more of an angle instead of just going straight up? Because one of the pre-made houses does have an attic, but whenever I think of attics personally, I think of ladders that are just on an angle and then go up into a trapdoor, and that's how you enter the attic. So yeah, trapdoors and sloped ladders I think could be a neat addition to the game. Oh right, one other thing actually is that they should move some of the trees from Debug into the regular build catalog. I find it so weird that the topiaries are the only plants in the build catalog for cottage living. So it makes it look a lot smaller than it is, but then when you go into debug, then there's just so many trees. It's like, what? You can't just trust us with some trees, Maxis? It's not a big deal. <laughs> so I, yeah, just make them regular objects. So there we have it, there's my ideas for a Cottage Living refresh. I think Cottage Living should be pretty low priority in terms of refreshes, and I highly doubt it'll happen anyway since, as of right now, it is the newest expansion. And there's plenty of packs that need the attention more, like Get to Work, and Dine Out, and Outdoor Treats, and Island Living, and Get Famous. But if they do end up refreshing a lot of packs, and then they refreshed Cottage Living, then I suppose I would not object to that. So with whatever Expansion Pack 12 turns out to be, I'll wait until a couple months after before I do a refresh video because I do want to have a good amount of time to soak it in, play with it a decent amount, so that I have a much better foundation for ideas for just how to improve that Expansion Pack if I had the chance. But for now, I hope you enjoyed the 11 Expansion Pack Refresh Idea videos that I did, and feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How would you improve Cottage Living if you had the chance? And be sure to subscribe if you'd like to keep up with my latest gaming content, including life simulations and more. So I will talk to you all later, and have a great day. Thanks for watching!